next would be uh, King Nebuchadnezzar and three of his amazing death defined subjects Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Well, before getting into the details, I am Chrissy, your host for the evening, and joining me is me, Hanna. I'm so excited today as we are going to meet the king and the three amazing young men on our show. So, how is the everyone tonight? We'll have this is the one of our best shows. Let's first welcome the king Nebuchadnezzar. Everyone, please give a big round of applause for the king. And thank you. What a miraculous story. The fire was. Hold on, King. We will get to the story soon. But let us now welcome our other guests. Everyone, please join your hands together to welcome Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Tonight, I truly thank our guests for this 
amazing story from chapter 3 of the book of Daniel. Audience, I want to ask something before the show ends. What have you gained by taking part in this show? Teresa, do you have anything to say? Yes, I have been depending on a God who does not exist under the sun. I have been worshipping idols. Today, I have been able to know about the care, provision and power of the living God. I will be a witness of a living God from today. Kathy, do you have anything to say? Yes. Sila walking at Isa may say in the man's lake to go to Thou shalt have no other God before me. Thou shalt not make any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven or above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, the God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of Father upon the children unto the third and the fourth generation that hate me. Aksa, do you have something to say? Yes. There have been many idols in my life. I had been <coughs> worldly things rather than godly things. From now onwards, I will love and serve only the living God. Abel, do you have something to say? As we found out tonight that there is only one true God and we must worship only Him, trust and obey God rather than men. And that concludes our show tonight. Be sure to join us again soon. May the Almighty God bless everyone and let us live our lives for God.